Hey, Freddy. Freddy and Anna, maravilla. We have a full house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Freddy's in the house. How are you doing today? Pretty good. I can't complain. What about you? I'm fine. It's raining right now. Well, it's about to finish raining here because it started raining like an hour ago. So it's been a while now. Let's see, right here it has two hours raining already. Yeah, it's yeah, it's more or less the same here, an hour and a half probably. You live in Sonsonate, right? No, Acajutla. Acajutla. Hello, good, good evening. I am driving right now. I can't talk. Oh, okay, but okay. Be, be careful, please. Brenda is perfect. Yeah, Brenda is in the house. So, how was your day, Freddy's? It was pretty good. There was not, there was that. Uh, don't you stare. <laughs> there, was, there was not much work today. Okay, okay. So, it was a good day. So, uh, where you work, they give you the, the assignments that you will have. Yeah, or actually, like that. actually, uh, the assignment is that I have to be. Wait a second. I have to be be responsible of anything that happens on on the day. Okay. So I have to be responsible if, let's say, if there's a broken pipe or run out of clocks. Out of what? Clorox. Oh, okay, got it. And I have to make sure the water Tank level is almost full. So today was a good day. <laughs> okay, Juan Jose, you got a new look today. Yes, a little. <laughs> yes, a little, that's right. Cut my hair. Yeah, I, I can see that. And uh, what happened to you yesterday? Okay, yesterday it was raining uh, hard in my house. The electricity went out. In this moment it was raining uh, a little bit, but um, uh, I hear, I hear uh, perfectly. Okay, okay. Floor. Oh, I, I think that, <laughs> that it was raining in, in, in much uh, places in this moment. Yeah, yeah, it's raining uh, in different places. In this, in, with this kind of weather, it's better to have uh, headphones or earphones, right? Because you kind of uh, get rid of the noise. Yeah. Hi, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see people smiling, so welcome. Uh, I have a doubt. I don't know if the class, uh, when is the finish um, of this uh, course? Friday oh, or we next, finish, next? We finish the next week. Next week? Yeah. Uh, Friday? Of next Friday, week? that's right. Friday. We have a party on Friday. Uh, I <laughs> five, five weeks? Yeah, it's a five weeks course. That's right. Okay. It's for the okay. intermediate level. Uh -huh. Intermediate level mm -hmm. is five weeks. Cheers. Okay. Hello. 
Hello, good evening. Good evening. So you can start thinking about ideas for the final day. Today is raining so hard, teacher, here in, in Soyapango. Uh, okay, yeah, I heard that uh, the same happened to Juan Jose. Uh, I'm not sure if floor is near um, these places. Now Karen is here, Brenda, uh, Blanca, Jennifer, Janari, good evening. Maybe they have troubles with the connections because I have some, some issues. Yeah, I imagine that my connection is unstable according to this. So I'm yeah. going to disconnect from my cell phones just in case. How do you say gotera? Leak. 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 I didn't mm -hmm. have leaks in my home, but today I discovered <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> wow. You thought you didn't have. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but maybe throat. it's because today it's raining so, 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 so hard. Really, really hard. It's a pouring rain. Yeah. Brenda, you look much better today. That's You're back. true. <laughs> I feel better, yeah. <laughs> That's great. So, um, let's see. I don't know, I, I see people with new looks. I don't know, it <laughs> seems like Karen has a new look, Juan Jose has a new look. Floor is serious. <laughs> Diana has a new background. So yeah, things are changing. <laughs> okay, so welcome everybody. It's a pleasure to be here with you on this uh, session number 16. Uh, we're about to finish as I said yesterday and uh, something important that you, you need to, to remember, right? is that uh, by the end of next week, you are going to be taking the last evaluation. We are going to be doing the last activities. Um, and I will be uh, reminding you, okay, about this. So check the platform, uh, catch up with any, any exercise or assignment. Let me know if you have doubts, you know that you can contact me at uh, any time except midnight uh, or after midnight. But from seven on, I am, I am available available to, to check your messages. Yeah, no way, Jose. Sometimes I am awake after midnight, but it's because of insomnia or, or work that I have to do, but I am Batman, so that's my, my secret. Uh, <laughs> Not a secret anymore, right? Okay. <laughs> so uh, it is good to see you. And right now I see with the cameras on, Freddy's, Diana, Karen, Maritza, Flor, Beatriz, Brenda, Juan Jose. Uh, I understand that Ana Maravilla is driving, so it's not possible for her to turn on her camera. Uh, Harbin, welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. She's a cute dog. Uh, Karen, what's her name? Her name is Nairobi. Nairobi, yeah. You mentioned that once, I think. Nairobi, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, with the ponytails and everything. Well, she has some hair bands. Okay. Uh, Blanca has a connection since yesterday. Yeah. I, that's true, you told me yesterday. Sorry about that. Uh, Merlin, uh, Suleyma and Elizabeth, can you hear me? Jennifer, okay. Uh, Jennifer and Laura, are you there? Yes, yes it is. But I couldn't hear you well because it's raining so hard here. So 
Yeah, I got it. Yeah, in those cases, it's difficult to turn on the camera when you don't have good connection or you're driving or something like that. So I understand that. Um, so it's raining cats and dogs, right? So that's the expression. Today, I, I, I might share with you some, um, some idioms just in case you, you don't know them. Uh, so I will be sharing it with you through the chat later on and I can explain you some of them, okay? Uh, so we're going to get started. And first of all, I'm going to take the attendance just to make sure that everybody's here. Let's see, Beatriz. I'm here. Nice, Elizabeth. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Mariela is driving. Uh, Brenda? I'm here. Carla? Carla is not here yet. Um, Diana? I'm here. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Floor. I'm here. Francisco. Strange, but Francisco is not here. Maybe it's got some connection problems too. Okay, Laura. I'm here, teacher. Arvin. Present. Good, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. I'm here. Karen. Present. Maritza. I'm here, Merlin. Yes, I'm here. Okay, Miguel Angel. Not here. So we continue with Rolando. Not here yet. Ruth. Teacher. Hello. Excuse me, Rolando. He, he, he didn't feel well. He is bad for her oh. for health. Maybe he tomorrow. Maybe mm -hmm. tomorrow he attend the class. He will attend the class. Okay. Thank you for telling us that, uh, Beatriz. So um, let's see. That's a shame. Ruth, well, Suleyma. I'm here, teacher. Yanari. I'm here. Jackie. Jackie's not here yet. And Blanca is there, but she I'm has to make it. Uh -huh, that's correct. <coughs> and Freddy's. Yeah. Okay, guys. So uh, let's get started. Okay. First of all, I want to check how good your, your listening skills are. So for that, I am going to tell you a little bit about the laughter therapy. So I am going to uh, tell you a little paragraph, let's say, that talks about the laughter therapy. So all you have to do is to try to listen carefully and copy what you hear, okay? So later I will show you on the screen and you will be able to compare if you were close or not. So the title of the, of the dictation is laughter therapy. How do you spell laughter? Can anybody tell me how to spell laughter? Okay, I'll laughter. try. L-A-U-G-H-T-E-R. That's correct. Okay. L-A-U-G-H-T-E-R. Okay, yeah. so the pronunciation is with an F in the middle, right? So we say laughter, laughter. So there you have it uh, in the chat, just in case. Laughter therapy, okay, therapy. So, ready? Here we go. I'm going to, to repeat twice, right? We say in English, 
column. Column is a symbol, right? Column, those puntos. We say in English, column, open quotation marks, okay, comillas. Laughter is the best medicine. Laughter is the best medicine. Period, okay, close quotation and period. Some people really believe, really believe, some people really believe that Teacher, last... I got lost. Okay, uh, where did you get lost? Teacher, <laughs> you're, you're reading or you're dictating? Dictating. Dictating, sorry, I, I thought you were, you, were, you were reading, just reading. Okay, yeah, I, I can I can I, I can read I can read. read I can read it like uh, just to check how much you can grasp. That's okay. okay, and then I can dictate it for you. That's not a problem. So okay. um, so I'm just going to read it and you uh, try to understand what I'm talking. Then I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay, to check how much you got, and then we'll do the little dictation, right? Little. Okay. So. Uh, we say in English that laughter is the best medicine. Some people really believe that laughter is, a, is good for their health. They go to special classes and have laughter therapy. At the start of the class, they all look at each other and say, ho, 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 ha, ha, ha. Usually this becomes real laughter and by the end of the class, they feel great. As many doctors agree that laughter is good for your health, in some children's hospitals in Britain, clowns visit patients and make them laugh. Okay, so um, first of all, uh, how do people start some laughter therapy classes? Look into each other. Look into each laugh. other and? They start laughing laugh. like Santa Claus. Like a role play. <laughs> But they they, become true. they they start laughing uh -huh, not in a real way but after doing it for a, for a while it becomes true right a real laughter okay uh what do people do in some hospitals in london like the movie <laughs> uh -huh. there is a movie clown. which uh, one clown go to visit and the kids when they are sick each, I think it's the name. Okay, so uh, clowns visit the sick people, right? The patients, so uh, they feel better. Okay, so um, it is true, right? It is true. And actually, even though I am not very good at jokes, even though I'm not very good at jokes, I will try. I will try to share some with you. So just don't, don't, uh, don't feel bad about my, my abilities, okay, at telling jokes. Okay, so um, quickly, let me check. Am I the first man? Tell, I don't know if it's Sorry. my internet or if it's yours, but it, it, it was like, slow. like a robot. Like a robot. So yeah, slow. it's mm -hmm. mine. Frozen, I, don't know if, I got frozen. Okay, like the movie. it's yours. Okay. Yes. So it's mine. Shame on me. And claro. Okay, I'm going to turn off my camera for a moment. Maybe that works better. Now, can you hear me well? Yes. Yes. No interruptions. Okay, great. Yes. So, Francisco, welcome. Thank you, teacher. We thought that you were Sorry for the late. No, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, no Jack problem. is there too. When you enter the I class, when you enter the class a little bit late, and I am not looking at the at the screen, you can uh, say hello, right, or good evening, teacher, or something. 
so that I identify that you already joined us, right? Because sometimes I'm looking at the yes, other presentation and I don't see your 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 face, right, or something like that. Okay, now uh, I, I was told going. You, good evening. But ah. you can hear me. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little joke, right? To see if uh, if that works. Maybe if you laugh at my bad ability for telling jokes. There's a question, there's a date, right? A couple. And the, the man asked the woman, am I the first man you have ever loved? And she answered, of course. Why do men always ask the same question? <laughs> Huh? What's okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I am going to tell you another one, okay? Um, I'm in big trouble. Why is that? I saw a mouse in my house. Oh, well, all you need to do is to use a, a trap. I don't have one. Well, then buy one. I can't buy one. Can, I can give you mine if you want. That sounds good. All you need to do is to use some cheese in order to make the mouse come to the trap. I don't have any cheese. Okay, then take a piece of bread and put a little bit of oil in it and put it in the trap. I don't have oil. When then put a small <laughs> piece of bread. I don't have bread. Then what is a mouse <laughs> doing at your house? Okay. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a computer mouse. Right. <laughs> Maybe it was a computer mouse. Okay. Uh, so, uh, doctor, will I be able to play the piano after the operation? Yes, of course. Great. I never could before. No? I didn't. We that. understand. No, okay. Oh my God, sorry. <laughs> the last one was like, I didn't get it. Okay, so we're going to uh, go my on. My favorite one was the first one. The first one. Um, I think that would be all. Uh, yeah, not so good at that. So, um, okay, this one is good. What do elephants have that no other animal has? Mm, huge memory? No. No. Fear for mouse? No. Mm. Mm. The answer is <laughs> baby elephants. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay. okay. So we're going to move on, and uh, you might be wondering, Fisher, why are you telling those? Why are you reading about uh, the laughter therapy? Well, simple, because today we are going to uh, talk a little bit about happiness. So, oh. uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, let me share. Let me share the screen with you quickly. About the laughter therapy, uh, yes, uh, because of the rain and that it's difficult for you to listen carefully, I'm going to skip the dictation for it this time. Um, so I'm going to share the screen so you see exactly what I was sharing with you. And here it goes. Okay, so uh, that's the little reading, okay, the laughter therapy. Uh, in order to practice a little bit of reading aloud, even though you don't activate your microphone, Please, I would like you to quickly try to read this aloud for you. Read it for you. Like you say in English, after it's the best medicine. 
Some people really believe that laughter. Okay, that is reading aloud for you, right? Read for yourself, trying to pronounce the words correctly. If you don't know how to pronounce one word, you can ask me, okay? So uh, don't forget that is laughter with the le with the sound F in the middle, laughter. laughter. Yeah. Laugh, laugh, laugh. Yeah, laughter, that's correct. Laugh. So, laugh. okay, laugh. I give you just laugh. one minute to read that, one minute. Beginning now. Chair, how can I say Britain? Britain. 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 Okay. Yeah. Britain. Thank you. I was okay. going to ask the same question. Yeah, Britain or Britain. That's both are correct. And time's up. Okay, so one minute reading is something that you can practice in order to improve fluency and check your pronunciation, okay? So a little text, you read it in one minute or less just to get a little bit more fluency, okay? So we say in English, laughter is the best medicine. Some people really believe that laughter is good for their health. They go to special classes and have laughter therapy. At the start of the class, they all look at each other and say, uh, ho, 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 ha, ha, ha. Usually this becomes real laughter and by the end of the class, they feel great. And many doctors agree that laughter is good for your health. In some children's hospitals in Britain, clowns visit patients and make them laugh. Now, I am going to go back uh, to the previous one. And for today's session, we're basically uh, going to study how to make the superlative form of adjectives. We already practiced comparatives in the past. Today, we're going to focus on superlatives. So um, that would be all. Uh, let's move on with the next one. Let's talk about happiness. By the way, uh, have you seen the movie, The Pursuit of Happiness? Yes. I yes. That movie is hard, right? It's really hard to see. Yeah, it's hard. Uh, but it's real. I mean, it's based on real life events. Um, so... Yeah, I, I totally recommend you that movie. It's really good. It will make you cry probably, but it gives a lot of messages, good mes messages for, for us. Okay, by, well, Will Smith is a protagonist oh, and his son. Movie. The name of the movie is The Pursuit I recommend a of song. Happiness. You can write it, I somebody recommend, can write it in the chat, please. Uh, uh -huh. I recommend a song that, that talk about happiness. It calls happiness too. <laughs> really? And it's to the freight. That is the group, the name group. Ah, okay. Well, the song that comes to my mind is uh, Happy by Pharrell Williams. That is this, I think it's a soundtrack for the Minions movie. That's a very energetic song that you can listen when you feel down. Or don't worry, be happy. That's a classic one. <laughs> uh, wait a the, second. The I, song that I talk about isn't happy too, but it's true. It's truest. I don't know if I'm saying right, but mm -hmm. this the lyric song. It's good. I love it. Okay. Okay. Got it. Uh, I the movie on YouTube only comes out a song with the lyric. Let me write it down. The Pursuit of Happiness. That's a, the title of the movie, okay? Yeah, so now, uh, that's the link that you're going to use in the breakout rooms, okay? To discuss as many questions as you can 
Um, so I am going to give you exactly six minutes. So you have approximately three minutes each, right? To answer and ask questions. So I am going to send you to the breakout rooms right now. We have 20, 21 participants approximately. So we're going to create six. Six would be okay. Okay, so right now you're going to the breakout rooms in three, two, one, and go now. Okay, ask all the questions that you can, that you want, that you like, and then I'm going to ask you to share with us a little bit about what you discussed. Right, that's up the invitation to go to the breakout room. Thank you. Uh, do you see the questions? So, uh, yes, are you I, a, a happy person? What is happiness for you? What do you think is the color for happiness? Do Just you, one, one at a time. One, was, <laughs> one question okay. at a time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, only, only I was reading. Ah, okay, uh, only, okay. Only, 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 only. It's for select okay. one. <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, Glenda, uh, the, the, the first question, are you a happy person? Yes, I'm a happy person. I think okay. that. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> I think that. <laughs> oh, it's really? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> and oh, you? The, yeah, I, um, I am a little serious, I think, uh, but I try. I try. Um, I try. You try. I, but I, I, I am a, a, a little serious, I think. This is a key. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, for the second, for example, what is happiness for you? Hi, happiness for me is wake up all, all morning and see my daughters. I don't know. Okay. Now you ask to Jacqueline okay. and Jacqueline to Ruth and Ruth to me. Okay. Uh, I'm happier uh, with him. Uh, yeah. What about you, Anna? I think the same, the Blanca. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're team single, single team. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my case, um, right now, I. I think I'm happier with be single. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I, I am in the wrong room. I have to get out of here. Let me check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How can I say? I don't know, but uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm a funny person. I think. Um, okay. Because I try to to. Uh, when I have a problem, uh, I try to forget it. Okay, for the okay, the fourth fourth question. It is interesting. Um, excuse me. Uh, do you think that happiness lies within you, or does it depend upon other people? And In Spanish. Uh huh. Okay. Um... ¿Crees que la felicidad está dentro de ti? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Do you think that happiness lies with you? Or does it depend upon you? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. It's not the happiness, but it helps. Yes. So, si en español es, el dinero no te, no te da la felicidad, pero te deja en la esquina. So, <laughs> I think that is ah. true. <laughs> okay. Only will give you happiness, but leaves you in the corner. 
Yeah. <laughs> It's the first time that I hear that. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. But it's true. When you have money, you can you can you can do many things. Okay. I will tell you when I have it. <laughs> <laughs> There's one student in the class that I think money is happiness is always happiness for him. For her. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a girl. We're That's anonymous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I entered the happy room. <laughs> yeah, that's good. We are making a party. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Why are course. you laughing? <laughs> are you cuatro, happy eh? if you are rich? <laughs> oh, if you're rich. Well, I, I cannot tell you that, but... <laughs> it's a possibility. No, the question is like that. Exactly, it's a possibility. Well, um, if I'm happy and now that I'm poor, I will be the happiness person in the world, probably, if I okay. were rich. <laughs> okay. That's good. Okay, uh, Brenda. For to do party every day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, to spend a lot of money doing uh, any kind of like party. That throw it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, what makes you unhappy? What well, makes what makes me unhappy? When I cannot sleep or when I cannot have my food on time. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see. Makes me really angry. That's okay, all. Okay, <laughs> so happiness is food on time for Brenda. Yeah. For Brenda. <laughs> that, that's true. <laughs> okay. Okay, now Francisco. Okay. How happy are you compared with your friends? Mm, I I think that uh, they and me we are the same level level of of the happy. I. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. In number six. Is happiness a state of mind? I don't know if you understand the question. Yes, it's an emotion, I think. Yes, yes. I think that. I, I yeah, think that I, happiness I, I, is <laughs> I, I think that is uh, is as much on in some uh, some time uh, many people uh, for example when you are was uh, um, writing for example some people uh, sometime want to you know it uh, but if your emotion is uh, stable I think that is no problem it's inside you it's inside of you. That's okay. right. I... Okay. Excellent. We're back. So, um, I would like to know if there were some specific questions that caught your attention or that were interesting for you to discuss. Can you please share any of the, any question that really was really funny or really interesting for you to discuss or to answer? Do because you need money to be happy? Do you need money to be happy? That's a, a controversial question, right? For a lot of people. Do you need money to be happy? Uh, well, I say yes. Me too. 
Okay, so money equals happiness. I mean, it's yeah. not. No, 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 no. It's like if if the money doesn't exist, you don't you you're not happy. But you you need money mm -hmm. for to do things that you love, like shopping. I I really enjoy shopping or go out with my friends, have fun, and all the things you need money. Maybe okay. for to create, uh, when you want to create to buy that memory that makes you happy, you need mommy money. <laughs> <laughs> you need your mommy too. That's right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to uh, well another question that was funny, but I just decided to move to another breakout room. Okay, because um, I felt that it was I was in the wrong place at the moment. Okay, it was about uh, being single or. Uh, is equal to, I mean, is you are happy when you're sing, <laughs> happier when you're single, something like that. So, what do you think about that question? <laughs> I well, if you're married, probably you have a different opinion, right? But, <laughs> <laughs> but you can say whatever yeah. you think, probably your, your, your husband or your wife My are not going to understand what you're right. saying. That you need the, the question, the question was mm -hmm. would you be happier with a soulmate or single uh -huh. would you be happier with a soulmate or single are single people happy that's another question uh -huh. cool yeah we're so, happy i would like to hear two opinions so blanca is on favor that she says yeah single, single equals happy. happy okay um Somebody else who has a different opinion, like yeah, they feel that you are mm -hmm. happier with a soulmate. Okay. Uh, in my case, Freddy and Diana, you're happier than mm -hmm. when you were single, right? Yeah. Now, when we are with a soulmate, we are happier. Uh -huh. You're happier than when because you were I think it depends on the person who you are with. Uh huh. That's right. Sometimes you need someone to talk something about, like when you need to express something and you don't have nobody to talk with, there's your soulmate who, who you could talk with. And yeah, true. If you have a problem, it could help you out. Okay. Yeah, I guess that in the end, it's about stages, right? In life. So yeah. sometimes you are happy when you're single and then you discover that you can be happy with someone. So Everything has pros and cons. That's my opinion, right? Um, so you gotta enjoy whatever situation you are in, right? If you're single, enjoy. If you're with someone, enjoy it. And that's it, okay? Um, so there's one question that wasn't there, but I was curious. Uh, do you think that you, you can find happiness or you can build it? You can create it. Mm. You build it. You can build it. You can create it. How? How can you yes. create happiness? Give a positive value to everything that happens to you and always take the best of the things that happen, like a learning or something. Okay. I heard someone uh, in, the, in, the, in one of the breakout rooms that said, well, I'm happy since the moment that I wake up every morning, right? So for me, that's happiness that I have life. I have things, I have people that love me and people that I love, right? So, okay, I agree with that perspective. We can create happiness, okay? Um, but sometimes people think that you find it somewhere else, right? And, you, and they go out to look for happiness. And that's the reason why, <laughs> why, why the movie is called like that, right? The pursuit of happiness. So it's someone who is looking for uh for happiness but in the end he had that right so within within him so uh that was one of the questions that appear in the, in the list okay so happiness lies within us and doesn't necessarily depend on external things okay so in the wrong place mm -hmm. yeah okay excellent thank you so much we're going to move on i don't know if there's a comment or a question that you would like to add to this discussion, this little conversation that you had? Was it interesting for you to have this discussion about this topic? 
they're inspired. That was inspiring. Okay. Let me check. Blanca wrote that in the chat. Okay. Then one day wake up and she'll be home. Okay. Interesting. That is the lyrics of the song that I told uh -huh. you. Okay. Okay. Good. So um, there are many ways in which people can be happy. Now, final question. Okay. What makes you happy? What is something that makes you happy? For example, somebody said, I'm happy when I have my food on time. <laughs> so food can Wilson. make someone happy, right? Uh huh. I spend time with my family. Friends and friends. your family, okay. Somebody else who wants to share? Just one, just one thing that makes you happy. One specific thing my that cat. makes you happy. Your cats, okay, nice. What else? Your family. Okay, your family, Miguel, I nice, thank the, you. My son smile. Your oh. son smile, okay, nice. That was so cute. BTS. Hugs and kisses from my kids. BTS. <laughs> your kids. <laughs> your kisses from your kids. That's what you said, right? Yes. Okay. Hugs and okay. kisses from my Hugs kids. And kisses. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, I don't know about you, but something that makes me happy is uh, appreciating things around me, like. Um, I love to take pictures of the moon, for example. I love to see plants and animals, like appreciating nature is something that makes me happy. Um, and I appreciate it more when I travel, so that, that will be an extra one. So we're going to move on. Uh, Maritza, what makes you happy? What is something that gives you happiness? Maritza, can you hear me? I don't understand, teacher. Okay, what is something that that makes you happy? Um, happy, uh, my daughters. Your daughters, okay. How many daughters do you have? Two, three? Two daughters. Two daughters. Two daughters. Okay, so your daughters mm. make. I think that everybody who has children agrees that that is one of the biggest happiness in in life, right? So okay. I yeah, don't, but, but I have a nephew, so I I experience that, right? <laughs> uh, so it counts like a. Teacher, it's the closest teacher feeling. Uh huh. Yeah, the closest that I have had. That's right. Plus my pets. Um, let's you? see. Hello, Janari. When we have full, the, the, when we the, when we have full, uh, how can I say thank you? That's full. Yes. <laughs> ah, the, 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 the yeah, the gas <laughs> tank is full. I got it. <laughs> okay, so that's another happiness. Well. Right now, it's a headache, I know. So, Francisco, you want to say something? Yes, I have a question. Uh -huh. How do you say, ver triunfar a mis hermanos? Ah, okay. Seeing my siblings uh, triumph or succeed. You can say that. Seeing my siblings succeed. Succeed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this is my question. Thank you. Awesome. Well, that reminded me that I, I feel really happy when I see my students uh, proud of their achievements. That's really good, especially when they graduate. So yes. Now we're going to move on. I'm glad that you liked the topic and that you had a lot of things to say when you were in the breakout rooms and now here with the plenary, right? So we're going to move on. And as you remember yesterday, we were discussing a little bit about uh, the vocabulary, we practice vocabulary. Do you remember the five words that we that we studied? Server. 
server. Executive chef. Executive chef, uh-huh. Hostess. Hostess or host, host or hostess. Uh -huh. Kitchen manager. Kitchen oh, manager yeah. and cashier, right? Those were the five cashier. words that we practiced. And we had a conversation, right, uh, about Jennifer and Ruben, right? Um, so yes, and we practice a little bit of vocabulary in context and we answer some questions and you watch a little video and we talked about wishes. Now, we're going to move on and we have the exercise number five. What is the indication for this exercise, Janari? Okay, teacher. Draw a line from the word to its correct definition. Okay, that's right. So please take a screenshot. You are going to go to the breakout rooms one more time and you are going to discuss what is the correct match for the vocabulary. And then you are going to practice reading the definitions and the vocabulary out loud. Okay, so that is going to be something that I will be doing as frequent as possible, okay? I need you to read aloud. I need you to speak, right? So uh, pronunciation is important, of course. So for that, I'm going to read the definitions a little bit quickly. So you have an idea about the pronunciation. Remember to take notes when it's a new word or when it's a new pronunciation. It's like, oh, I was confused. I thought that the correct pronunciation was uh, for example, uh, a schedule, right? And now the teacher is saying schedule, so I'm going to take note. Schedule, yo, okay. Schedule. Schedule. Schedule, yeah. So uh, the definitions are, well, vocabulary first, work, schedule, break, shift, overtime, and call in. Definitions, a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. When you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week, to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or, or late. A chart that, re that presents a list of employees that the days of the week and times of the day they are required to work. And finally, the time of the day when a person works. That's what you're going to do. Right now, you're going to have approximately uh, eight to 10 minutes maximum. Yeah, you're going to have eight minutes. And then we're going to take the attendance when I call you back. So, ready, set, and go. Make sure that everybody participates in the, in the group, please. Okay, it's at the invitation. Shoes, ah, it's okay. a shirt that press. Mm -hmm. So ah, okay. Okay. the second one, for example, it's break. Break, okay, mm -hmm. is um, uh, is the time of, no, it's a, a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Yes, this I, is, think. I think break. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that too. What, what is the chief? Chief is uh, the time of the day when a person works. Okay. Uh, overtime, I think, is when when you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. Mm -hmm. And call in, call in 
is to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Or late. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay. So work schedule is a chart that presents a list of, of employees, the day of the week and time of the day they are required to work. From your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Exactly. Those are the answers. If you want, we can read. Okay. Yeah. One by one. Would you like to start with the first? Okay. With the first um, word? Word. Definition. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Word schedule. A chart that yeah. the present a list of employees, the days of the week and times of the day they are required to work. Okay. Marixa, would you like to read the second one, please? Okay. Break. Work schedule. A chart that presents a list of employees, the days of the week and time in, of the day they are required to work. Okay, uh, Francisco. Okay. Uh, break. Uh, a small period of time when a person can... can... The chief, the time of the day when the person works. Okay, over time. When you work more than regular working hours in a day or week. <clears throat> call, in, call in to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Yeah. Okay, now the examples with each word. Work schedule. It's... It's the human resource made, right? Yeah. But you have yeah. to do to do a, a sentence with that word. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> For example, that I is usually a, that is a, work that is a, during uh -huh. the morning shift, but sometimes I choose the afternoon shift. Uh, you use shift. Shift. Uh huh. Yeah. So and yes, we'll... that is that is something important because uh, you learn the vocabulary, but you need to use it in context. Okay, so you can okay. apply that apply the vocabulary. So think about one example. Okay, so you know, thinking about your job, probably you can invent one sentence or one question. <clears throat> okay. okay, or negative, affirmative, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna make one with overtime. Just the other day, I had to work overtime because I had to finish a campaign and mm. I finished overtime calling. Calling. Anyway. Mm. Okay, so now you have to uh, we got Think about examples, okay? Examples using the vocabulary. Okay. For, uh, I can tell you an example. Uh, I don't like to work overtime because I feel very tired the next day. So you have you have to think about how you can apply this vocabulary in the context, in real context, right? That is really important. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> um, it's about over. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Um, word schedule a chart that present a list, list of employees, the day of the week and times of the day they are required to work. Okay. Break is a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Chief is the time of the day when a person works. Okay. 
Uh, the overtime is uh, when you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. And call in is to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Or late. Okay, that's good. Cool. Okay. Well, uh, again. Yes, you start. <laughs> okay, work schedule. 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 Are the present schedule. Schedule. Yeah. Schedule. Okay. Schedule. Uh, chart, a chart that present, present. a list of employees the day of the week and time of the day they are required to work. Break is a small period of time when a person can stop working to eat or rest. Okay. Chief is the time of the day when a person works. Over time, when you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. A call in to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or late. Okay. Teacher okay. is absent. Absent, yeah, absent. 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 E and is chart. 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 It's a short, it's a short, right? Chart. Chart. That's right. Chart. 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 All right, so everybody's back. Yes. Now we're going to check quickly the vocabulary. You're going to help me out with the matching so you can use the annotation tools. And um, then I'm going to take your attendance, right? So right now you can use the annotation, please. Uh, some volunteers make the lines to match the, the four words with the definition while I'm taking the attendance. All right, so um, what do you see on your screen right now? A uh, pencil with red lines. Okay, and the picture of, of the vocabulary. Yes, okay. yes. I, I can't use the pencil, teacher. I think someone's playing tripachuca. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me to translate that into English. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clear the drawings and you can start now. Okay, so anybody can, can do it, okay? Try to do the matching, okay? Jennifer did one, thank you, Jennifer. Somebody else can do another one, please. You can draw, you can, uh, okay, Ana Beatriz, thank you. Jacqueline, thank you. One more volunteer. Diana, perfect, so we got them all. Okay, just in case Blanca has another line, okay? <laughs> so we don't get confused <laughs> with the direction of the line. Okay, now we're going to move on. <laughs> because the yellow one is in the middle, right? A break and shift, so we don't know. Uh, now we're going to uh, check, okay? Uh, let's see, break. Freddy's, please read the definition. Break, a small yeah. period of time a person can stop working to eat or rest. Okay, that's right. Freddy's, choose someone for the next word, please. Okay, let's see, Flor. Uh, Chief, if... <laughs> The time of the day when a person works. Okay, Flor, just the next one. Um, Jessica. A 
Hello, hello. Cree, cree, cree. Jessica. Yeah. No. I'm sorry, I have bad internet, bad connection. Say the mm, truth, Jessica. Jessica. You are taking a nap. <laughs> <laughs> she was having dinner. I why I know the floor say my name. <sighs> She what, likes what, it. What, what, <laughs> the big thing. <laughs> what is the definition I'm, for overtime? Uh, what works, please? Overtime. Overtime. Okay. Yeah. Overtime when you work more than the regular working hours in a day or week. Okay. Uh, do you Perfect. consider that? Do you consider that Easy. is is working overtime if <laughs> they if they don't pay you? Nah. No. So what is the name for that? Obligation. <laughs> Exploitation. <Work>, exploitation. Okay. <laughs> <so. laughs> no, let's, let's go. <laughs> Slavery. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, hey, the last one. <laughs> Exit. <laughs> Good. To, okay. To so. ask life for more the time. <laughs> Okay, so the last one, uh, Janari, choose someone, please. Uh, one name, a name. Yep. Let's sing, let's sing, let's sing. Hey, we have Miguel. Yes, he's a volunteer. <laughs> so Thank, <Miguel>. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Janari. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, Colleen. Uh, to telephone your workplace to let them know that you are going to be absent or absent? late. Absent or late. or late. That's correct. So um, call in, right? So in this case, um, that's that's correct. You got a 10. Okay, somebody drew the line here. <laughs> you got 10. That will be a one here. And I'm going to draw a, a zero here. Okay, you got 10. And the symbol, no, there's no symbol mm -hmm. plus, but I'm going to do it like that. So Ooh. we're going to move on and uh, congratulations, really good job, I liked it. You can use the reactions for yourself because you deserve them. I'm going to use the ta as it's one of my favorite ones. And um, uh, any questions about this vocabulary before we continue to the next exercise? I already no, took the attendance, so don't worry about that. No. Okay, so I do have a question because I, I have just sent you a message, right? Please think about or create an example for each word or each expression. Why? Why did I ask you uh, to do that? Well, simple. As I was telling some people in the breakout rooms, uh, there are different uh, steps or different stages when you are learning a language or when you're learning vocabulary. The number one is that you look for the dictionary, right? Look for the word in the dictionary and then you find a translation. So break, ah, receso, uh, or recreo, right? Break. Good. Definition. Ah, break is uh, a little period of time or a small period of time when the person can stop working and do something else. That's a break. Good. Now, that's the second one. You learn how to make a definition, how to explain the word. What is the third step and is one of the most important ones? That you use a word in context. You use the vocabulary in context. Because, for example, some people learn new words uh, over time. What is over time? Um, tiempo extra, okay. I understand it. Definition is uh, extra time that you work that is apart from your regular schedule. Okay, now give me an example. Uh, I work over time. Not complete example, but yeah, you got the idea, right? Now, Diana has a good example for overtime. I heard that in the breakout room. 
Now is a moment when you use the vocabulary in real life to express something, right? So Diana, please tell us the example. Uh, I said that yesterday uh -huh. I had to work overtime because I had to finish a campaign and I finish it until 9 p.m. Okay, so that is a very complete sentence. But if you said, yesterday I had to work overtime to finish a campaign or because I have to finish a campaign. So that's a really good example. Now, can anybody give me an example using the word call in? Call in. One sentence. It can be a question, it can be a sentence, negative or affirmative. I call into my bus because I have a problem. I call in my bus because, because I, I had a problem. problem. Okay, uh, that's a good example. And then somebody who can give an example for shift, please. I have to finish my shift every time because if I don't finish my shift every time, I have to work overtime. Okay, that's a that's a two for one example. Thank you, Salema. That's really good. Uh, break. Somebody who who wants to give an example using break. That's an easy one. Thinking about your work, right? About your everyday work. Yeah, Nari? I have a break uh, from 12.20 to uh -huh. 1 p.m. Okay, I have a break from 12.20 to 1 p.m. That's a, that's a good one. Excellent. And the last one is work schedule. About break, I the usually manager, take a break when I'm tired. Uh -huh. The manager, go ahead. The manager is working. No, no. The manager is doing the work schedule for the next week. Okay, in this case, the word, the verb would be make. Is making the work schedule for <laughs> next week. Okay, okay. Very good. So thank you so much. Class for the volunteers, please. Thank you, ladies. Uh, I think only girls gave me the examples this time. So boys, you have to participate. Don't forget about that. If you don't participate, girls are going to take over the world and you, you are not going to have the, the, the chance to, to give opinions or examples. Okay, I'm just kidding, don't worry. You still have opportunities. Now, uh, I feel that some people are a little bit sleepy. Probably it's because it's raining and you need coffee or a chocolate, hot chocolate, and you want to relax, right? Watching Netflix or just spending time with someone. Now that you're talking about happiness and let's move on. Okay, so that's all about vocabulary. Perfect, thank you so much for your participation. Take a look at this. Um, there's a schedule here. Um, so you're going to take a look at this complete schedule and you are going to answer the questions, okay? The questions below. So we have Laura, Tomas, Sofia, and Carlos. They have a specific schedule uh, from Tuesday, September 5th to Saturday, September 9th, okay? So uh, what you have to do in this case is to read carefully, to answer the questions based on the information, pay attention to the date, to the person, the activity, the time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all the details. So uh, I am going to give you 
a little time, let's say three minutes or no, two minutes to try to familiarize with the schedule and the questions, okay? And then I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so that you can discuss with your partner, right? Uh, about the answers. Okay, I need some volunteers. Now I'm going to ask the boys here. So Juan Jose, can you please read the question number one? <clears throat> number one, who is charge yes. of purchasing from food from Tuesday to Friday? Who is in charge, very good, of purchasing food from Tuesdays to Fridays? Number two, Francisco. Number two, let me check. When is the dishwasher? Is correct? Dishwasher. 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 Days off. Dishwasher. Day off. Day off. Day off. That's correct. Thank Day you. Off. And number three, Harvin. How long is Thomas break? How long is Thomas break? That's correct. Uh, Miguel, number four. Number four, uh, what is what is Sofia job in the restaurant? When is her vacation? When is her vacation? And the last one, Freddy's. When is Carlos Carlos on training? What is is his schedule on Friday? That's correct. Excellent. Uh, I already took it, uh, Francisco. Don't worry about that. Uh, so you see, we only have five boys in today's class. That's what I, I was wondering, are they there? Are they not? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, that's what you're going to do right now. Answer those questions using this information. This is an important skill in when you're learning a language, right? Uh, identifying uh, details, paying attention to details, scanning, right? And answering uh, based on information provided. So it's a skill that you need to develop. It's a uh, really important element here. So you already familiarize a little bit with the documents, with the questions. So right now you're going to the breakout rooms. You're going to be in groups, right? So let me check that everybody's in the same group. Yes, but I'm going to recreate them, okay? Just to make sure that you have other people to interact with. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to make some modifications. Give me a second. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that will be number six. And Miguel going to number seven. One, two, three, perfect. Four, five. Okay, so we're we're ready to go. And three, two, one. You will have to answer this question. You need time, so I will give you ten minutes. So you discuss, and I will monitor that everybody is finished. Any questions before we go to the breakout rooms? Floor? No. Beatriz? Questions? Doubts? No? No, teacher. Okay, Brenda? Mm -mm, no. No, okay, let's go. Set the invitation, please. that I have at work. So tomorrow I'm going to to be a little relaxed. Nice. Really nice. And Suleyma is with us. 
<laughs> yes, I'm here, girls. <laughs> How are you today? Excellent. How are you today, Suleyma? Um, it was a difficult day. <laughs> so difficult day for me. Really? <laughs> I guess Thursday, yes. I have to do a lot of things at work because I have new people that I have to work. And when I have new people, I have to do a lot of things because I have to, to do that. They have to sell and they have to follow the rules in a call. No, no, no. No, I think it's, it's from I think Tuesday it's, to Friday. It's kitchen manager. It's Laura. Laura, Laura. Yes. Then it's Laura. Laura, in yes. The first one. Mm -hmm. Laura. Laura in charge of purchasing. Purchasing food. When is when is the dishwasher's day off? Uh -huh. Dishwasher. Where it's it, where at is okay. like <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? <sighs> what do you do? What do you say? <laughs> no teacher. <laughs> We are looking for the meaning of purchasing. So we, I purchase, look. Purchase I is look, a synonym of the verb buy. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So right. I look, I look um, in Google and mm -hmm. I, I will say, <laughs> but in Spanish, but then you, ta-da, you come you to, here. to. <laughs> like, like a Chapulín Colorado, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's like buying. It's... Yeah, synonym of buying. Uh huh. Buy. Oh. Buy, purchase. Get to when the year they do it. The person in charge to purchase the food from Thursday to Friday is Laura. It's yes. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's in the kitchen manager, or is the kitchen manager? It's Laura. Okay. And when is the dishwasher's days day off? When is the dishwasher's day off? On Wednesday. On Wednesday, September six. Exactly on Wednesday. Okay. And three, mm -hmm. uh, how long is comma break? Is thirty minutes. Every day is thirty minutes. Is scheduled on Friday. What is scheduled on Friday? It's from, from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah. And he has one hour break. And he has a one hour break. Oops. Wait a minute, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, Brenda, say, wait a minute, please. <laughs> Take it easy. Huh? You have time. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> There's no rush. Uh, <laughs> all your horses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that to hold your horse. Yeah, that's another idiom that I was going to share with you today. <laughs> mm. We are talkative. Talkative. I'm talkative. You are the TT team, the talkative team. <laughs> But more friend is he speak no, too much. No, no, no. <laughs> friend is <laughs> what? Actually, no, have a but... <laughs> okay. Okay, again, uh, who is in charge charge of purchasing food from Tuesday or to Friday? Mm -hmm. Is Laura. 
is louder. The next one is, uh, when is the dishwasher day off? Uh -huh. Only to use, or only to use the Tuesday. Uh -huh. uh, I think that Carlo, Carlo is, is training from uh, Tuesday to Friday. No. No, only, only, is, is only Carlo? Tuesday. Yes. The, the training. Training. Oh, okay, training. Yes, only, only Tuesday. Yes. With the Tuesday and Friday is servers. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what is his schedule on Fridays? On Fridays, it's, he uh, works from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And yeah. he has uh, one hour of break. Yes. Friday, yes. What is schedule on Friday? Mm -hmm. A.m. to 6 p.m. Oh. And an hour break. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. Only... Teacher, we right. have a... We have a question. What is a question? He, what he, you need? Number, question. number one. I think in the schedule, we don't have a cashier. And Who is in charge of purchasing food? Who is in charge oh. of buying buying the food? Oh, yes. the kitchen purchase, manager. Okay. Purchase is buy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Purchase is the name of the verb buy. Ah, oh, we mm -hmm. thought that it mm -hmm. was uh, related with the cashier. No. Ah, it's related okay. with it's shopping. It's related with shopping. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. It's for free. Okay. <laughs> well, I think that you're the kitchen manager. Yeah, it's the kitchen manager. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, what is the regular chef of Carlos? What is the regular chef? I don't know. You 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 don't know. Okay. <laughs> yes, are not familiar names. It's true. Yeah, yeah. That that is the heart. Mm -hmm. We finished, teacher. <laughs> uh huh. Are you sure? We finished. Yeah. 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 We finished. Yeah. Okay. We have the five answer. We talk about we talk about recommendations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, interesting. Let me uh, just give the, everybody a reminder of 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Okay, dokey. Let me check. Yeah, they will say, teacher, you didn't give us 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about a Korean drama that I recommend to 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 Karen to see really yes, yes and it's very good <laughs> okay dramas are good if you don't want to to watch a uh, a love drama you you can watch an action drama because korean have variety variety variety, variety. i don't know how variety. to say variety variety that's bar Variety. variety, yeah, variety. variety. Or variety, okay. if you want to pronounce it as a British person. <laughs> okay, Vari a variety oh, of uh, genres, right? Different types. Of dramas, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, genres, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Genre, uh-huh. You can watch it. You, you should, One you day. should try. One day. <laughs> Peter, if you have a chance. Uh, looking in Netflix, it's okay, it's not, not be okay. Mm. It's not too long and it's very nice. The dramas only have 16 episodes. Ah, Always. Okay. Well, in the most time, yeah. Most They're of the time. short, mm -hmm. short. In mm -hmm. one hour each. Yes, yeah. close to one hour, maybe a little bit more. Okay, a I little. will take that into consideration. A little 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> More than an hour. Okay, okay. Perfect. Thank you for sharing. See you in a moment. Okay.
All right. Um, let me check. Everybody's coming back. I noticed that the majority of the groups were done. I'm not sure if everybody did, but let me know if anybody is missing any question from the from the schedule, or if one question was difficult for you, which question was the most difficult for you? I'm going to share the screen one more time, and you tell me which question took more took you more time to complete. Number one. Number one. Uh, number one, I, I noticed that some people were having confusion with the word purchasing, right? So purchase, remember that comes, it's a synonym of the verb buy. It has to do with shopping, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. who is in charge of buying food from Tuesday to kitchen Friday? Kitchen manager. Mm -hmm. So who is it? Laura. The kitchen manager. Laura. Laura. The kitchen manager. Okay, that's right. So that is one of the responsibilities. Question number two, when is the dishwasher's day off? On Wednesday. 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 Uh, the dishwasher day's day off is on Wednesday. And who is the dishwasher? Thomas. 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 Okay, Thomas. That's right. How long is the is is his uh his break? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. 30 a minutes day. A day. Uh, does he work every day? No. No, he no. No, works only four days. Four days. When is his day off? It's on Wednesday. Wednesday, right? The six. Okay, got it. Uh, now we're going to, with the question number four. What is Sophia's job in the restaurant? She's a bartender. She's a bartender. She's a bartender. She's a bartender. Okay. Uh, does she work in the morning? No. No. It's for breakfast. So she works from 4 to 11 p.m. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and when is her vacation? Friday and Saturday. It's on Saturday, on Friday and Saturday. That's correct. Uh, then we're going to move on. Uh, she has 30 minute break, similar to Thomas and Laura, right? Uh, the last question, mm -hmm. when, or the last questions, when is Carlos on training? On Tuesday. 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 Tuesday, okay. Uh, what is his schedule on Friday? From 8 a.m. PM to 6 p.m. From 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and he serves. He has a uh, one hour. And one hour mm -hmm. break. And break. Does, he, does Carlos have a day off? The, yes, on Saturday. Yes, yes Saturday. on Saturday, that's correct. Yes. Uh, so if you pay attention, this kind of exercise helps you to, uh, to identify details, right? To read carefully to scan or skim. There's a difference between scanning and skimming. Okay, I'm going to write it in the chat. So just for your information, right? Scanning and skimming. Do you know the difference? Can you write? I'm going to write it right now. Scanning and skimming. Scan and skim. Estamos adiestrados. Why, why that, January? <laughs> so, um, scanning and skimming. Well, the difference is these are two, two techniques, let's say, that we use when we are reading or when we're looking for information in a text. So, scanning is specific details. Scanning. So, when you look for specific information, for example, if I ask you the question, uh, who is the bartender? 
And you start, okay, Lara, the manager, Thomas is watching, bartender. Sophia is a bartender. Okay, good. Sophia. That is that Sophia. is scanning, looking for specific information. Skimming is when you get the main idea from a text or from a part of a text. So if I ask you the question, what kind of text is shown in the chart? What kind of document? What kind of text is that? It's a, a schedule for a restaurant. It's a schedule, okay, from a restaurant. And what is a, uh, what is something that is mentioned about the people? What is something that is mentioned about the people's job? Uh huh. That's specific information, right? So the position they have at the restaurant, kitchen manager, bartender, dishwasher, server, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's the difference between scanning and skimming, right? Don't forget about it. So uh, now that you have the experience comes the moment when you create your own schedule. We're going to make a little variation, right? So what is the indication for this? Um, I'm going to ask Mariela. Indication number seven, please. In pair, use mm -hmm. the model Adobe to create a basic schedule for five employees at your company. Okay, so ideally that's what you would do. But now as we are in a different reality, you are going to be in the same groups with the same people and you are going to create a, a schedule with your names and your responsibilities, your position, your schedule, your break time, your day off, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So all the details, but individually, right? Because the information that Beatrice has is not the same information for Jackie, right? So you are going to create a little chart. One person in the group can do that, right? You share the screen and you start filling up with the information, okay? Filling up with the information from each member of the group, okay? So do you have any doubts about the indications about this activity? So we are, we are going to create a schedule for for the our members company. of the group. Ah, oh, okay. The members of the group. So we're going to make a modification, as I told you, right? So, <laughs> okay. for example, in the breakout room number one, I see Beatriz, <sighs> Mariela, and Suleima. So you are going to create a schedule with for Beatriz, one separate line for Mariela and one separate line for Suleiman. Similar, okay. similar to the format that you saw in the example, right? The position, the time that you work from, right? From seven to eight, et cetera, et cetera. The break time that you have and the day off, okay? If you have a day off. Okay, and if there's a, something specific, for example, on Friday, you don't work, uh, but you have to do home office, like you don't go to the, to the office, but you do home office, you can specify that, okay? Home office from the time that you can, available, right? So uh, that's what you're going to do. Fr Francisco, you have a question? But it's a restaurant, and it's a restaurant. No, your position, your real position. Oh, okay. I'm a teacher. I work from 7.30 to 5. And I have a break from 9 to okay. 9.30 to drink coffee. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I have lunch from 11.30 to 1. And I teach from 8 to 10, for example. That's my 
schedule from Monday to Friday. And my day my days off are on the weekend for the moment, okay, uh, by now. Um, so Francisco, what is your question? Uh, yes, teacher, um, only, I, I think that um, I, I do not believe that I can to finish the, the schedule for the time. I don't know. Okay. You don't have to share all the information. You will work together. One person in the group is going to be typing, right? Uh, and you are going to give, be giving your information, okay? If it is top secret, don't say it, okay? Uh, you can invent information. Okay. Okay. okay so, I tried. Okay. for okay. example, if you are the manager or the owner of the company and you don't want your classmates to know that, you can say that you are the supervisor, okay? <laughs> Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Excellent. So we go to the breakout rooms. You have a maximum of 15 minutes to complete your chart. If we have time, you are going to share with the class. If not, you will share that tomorrow, okay? But everybody's going to share the schedule. Uh, hold on, somebody wrote in the chat. Okay, you will try to participate, got it. Perfect, so let's go to the breakout rooms. In three, two, one, go. Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 Monday to Friday. Yes. On what time do you work? 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. To 5 p.m. Um, and I can't hear you. And what, is, hear. and what is your position in your work? I am super engineer support. Engineer support. I'm going to to write uh, the your schedule. And not a let me see Monday from Monday to Friday, right? Yes, from seven to five. Seven to five. And do you have or what time is your break or lunch? I have one hour to break. From what hour exactly? For 12 to 1. Ah, okay. The, the lunch time. Yes. From 12 to 1. Yeah. So you don't have breaks yeah. apart from lunch? No, no I don't uh, have. Okay, okay. Okay, you start to work at 2, at 1 o'clock to 5. Yes. Okay. That assistant is the right. Assistant. <laughs> assistant. Assistant. Well, that's the, correct. The it's teacher correct? is here. Yeah. Yeah, manager's assistant. Okay. okay. So and you have to to write Sunday and put day off 
I don't know. Okay, I will. Okay. My break is from 12 p.m. Well, it's, it's an hour. One hour, an hour. break. Yeah, one hour. Okay. I. That's a lunch <laughs> break or is a another break? Well, I have three breaks. <laughs> oh, that's one. nice. One in the morning in the at at 9 a.m. to nine nine and a half. Then the lunch that it's at one hour and then 10 minutes from 3 p.m. to 3 3:10 o'clock. I don't know, 3 10. It's that's right. Well, are 10 minutes in the afternoon. So you can go to to drink some coffee or go to the to take some yeah. air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mine is that it's the same. No, 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 it's not the same one. It's eight to six. Oh my god, <laughs> and the traffic hour. Ah, oh, yes, and on Friday, I go out at I finish at five. And I have one hour break too. And Saturdays? No. Do you work? No, no, I don't work. No. Oh my God, that's fine. So I have uh, here and here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here to the <coughs> off, we will do this same one and, and, and here. <laughs> ah, no, I did wrong because here is here. And the off is I. Is off with with one F or two F? Two, two, two F. F. Yeah, but it's a very hard thing. Benari, <clears throat> I wrote in the chat. Okay. She said 40 minutes, I think. If you have problems. Watch it before, yeah. Three minutes break, okay. we can solve, okay. <laughs> 40 minutes break, okay. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Can you be a hacker? <laughs> it's always no. the same question. You know, it's people we say, are you a hacker? 8.30. <laughs> uh -huh, 8.30 to 5.30. And then they say, okay, can you fix my computer? <laughs> oh, okay. In my case, no, they say, that, that's not that. <laughs> uh, can you make video games? That's the questions. 
Okay, the break is one hour. You better don't have problems with Brenda. Work from home. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you hack the teacher's computer? Brenda, you work from home, right? Uh, let's talk after class. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's wait for the teacher to leave the breaker room. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like that. I'm going to I'm going to check this recording later. <laughs> Do you have the screenshot, Suleyma and Mariela? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sophie, excuse me, teacher. I can hear you very Did well. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. We can finish. Okay, excellent. Let me check with the breaker room and then we go back to the session. Okay. I when I hear that I think that <laughs> we have to back to the, the main station so I have to change my screen because I was in other screen but now we are here <laughs> with the teacher. Aha, uh -huh, you finished? <laughs> yes, we finished teacher. Okay, excellent. So we I think we everyone... don't we don't make a presentation but Jacqueline has all the notes. information in her mind. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I trust Jackie's mind. Jackie's memory. Perfect. Oh my goodness. That requirement for me, but I will try. <laughs> okay, give it a try. Okay, so apparently the connection is not so stable for me right now, but I'll do my best to finish. Wait a sec. Ana so, Beatriz, give me some, a little. Sorry, I, 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 I drink all my Pepsi. Ah, uh, it's Pepsi. I done all my Pepsi. Yeah, uh, it's okay. So I don't such. want. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so she's a Coca Cola fan. Now we're going to move on, guys, and we're going to share. Okay, I just want to mention that uh, Miguel, he, uh, can you stay after afterwards? Let me check, Miguel, that was last time. That was on Friday, wait a second. So, uh, Suleyma, can you stay for the okay. last 10 minutes? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to stay with you to, tonight. And right now, because of time, we're just going to listen to one, one person sharing the schedule with us, okay? Quickly, I'm going to call out your names to check the attendance. Beatriz, are you there? I'm here. Nice, Elizabeth, Mariela, I'm here, Brenda, I'm here, Diana, I'm here, teacher, Laura, I'm here, Francisco, I'm here, teacher, okay, Laura, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm fine too. I'm, I'm fine too. <laughs> nice. Okay. She's in love. She's in love. Okay, that's why. Okay, now uh, we're going to move on. I cannot see everybody, but okay, let me check. Um, Harvin? Present. Uh, Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Juan teacher, Jose? can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Juan Jose, are you there? Yes, I am here. I am fine too. 
<laughs> okay, Karen. I'm here, teacher. Okay, you're happy, right? I can, I yeah. can tell. Okay, Maritza. Present, teacher. Merlin. Uh, Miguel Angel. Ruth. I'm here, teacher, excuse me. Okay, no problem. Ruth Suleyma. I'm, I'm here. Okay, Janari. I'm here. Jackie. I'm here. Blanca. I'm here. And Freddy's. Okay, so uh, yeah. excellent, <laughs> but it's good. Uh, poor connection. Uh, Ruth is there. Okay, perfect, but it's good. La soledad es mala. What? So we have just three minutes. <laughs> now, okay. Brenda, can you please share with us your information? Yes, teacher. Before, okay. before you hack my computer. <laughs> okay. 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 I was working with Freddy's Janari, and then uh, Janari is auditor technician. Uh, she worked from Monday to Saturday, I guess. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I make a mistake with this. No. But the thing is that Friday. Uh, no, right? For Friday. <laughs> yeah, here is not. Okay. Oh, they are. <laughs> so uh, that's what I was thinking. So she, yeah, she works from Monday to Friday, and her schedule her schedule is from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. She has okay. 40 minutes break, and then Freddy's he's a plumber. He works very hard from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. every yeah. single day, even Saturday, and then he has one hour break. And uh, in my case, I'm a programmer. I work from 8.30 to 5.30 p.m. And I have one hour break. This is from Monday to Friday and on Saturday, just uh, from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Okay, excellent. Well, class for them, please. Yeah. Really good. It's, I think it's a very clear schedule. We understand uh, what everybody's doing, the times and everything. Congratulations. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, so, yeah, I cannot tell you what they were talking about in the breakout room, but but yes, they did a good job. Peter, Thank you so much. Hello. You can read the, the chats, the private chats. I no. can't tell you that. Wow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what did you write, Diana? What did you write in the chat? No, nothing, I think. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so Just I'm, going to, I'm going to pay more attention to the chats now. Okay, so um, <laughs> well, guys, do you have any questions or comments before uh, we move on to, to say goodbye? We're going to see the, the other schedules okay. tomorrow. I'm going to take a screenshot of the breakout rooms. In the room number one, we had the threes. Well, let me check. Yeah. We had the threes, Mariela and Uh huh. We have to show the schedule for the team tomorrow. Yes. I don't know because I got disconnect for around 10 or 15 minutes. So in that case, you can send your information to the person in the in the in the breakout room so they can add, they can include that information. So in which breakout room were you? Let me check. So in number breakout room number with number Laura, two. but they they told me about uh, ah, okay. the schedule. Yeah, so Floor, Jackie, and Harbin, that was room number two. Room number three, Brenda, Freddy's, and Ganari. Number five, uh, Blanca, Karen, and Ruth. I think Ruth disconnected, so you can share that with them. 
uh, yeah, you were right. Then uh, Diana, Francisco, Juan Jose, and Maritza in the room number six. And the last one was Laura, Jennifer, Merlin, and Miguel Angel. So uh, those are the, the ones that we're going to listen to tomorrow. Uh, any questions, comments about today's class? Did you learn something new? I forgot to share the other idiom that I was going to share with you today. I told uh, Brenda's group. I think it was Brenda's group. I'm not I sure. I always all, enjoy all your horses. I always enjoy when hold your horses. That is relax. Oh. <laughs> Take it easy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hold your horses. <laughs> when is okay? Yeah. Uh huh. You enjoy when? Uh huh. When we have time to share any topic like today, happiness. Okay. And the last one was traveling. So I really enjoy those exercises. Okay. I'm glad to know that. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm looking for okay. topics every day. So that's, uh huh. <laughs> what is the meaning of take a short pill? It's the same thing. Relax. Take it easy. Hold your horses. Take a shield pill. Uh huh. Take a pill. So, see you tomorrow, guys. Have an amazing night. Sleep tight. Have sweet dreams. And don't forget to practice English as much as possible. Thank you for everything. Okay. Bye. Have You're a welcome. Good night. It's my pleasure. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Au revoir. Bye, Bye. Good Suleyma, night, don't, everyone. Don't, don't leave, Suleyma. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> okay. So, um, wait a second. Really? I think. <laughs> yeah, she wants to, to be with us. <laughs> yes, Merlin is in the side. She's in the. She's still in the side. Oh man, that's a, that's hard. But you're home. I can see. It. Yes, I already uh, arrived to my home. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah. uh, how have you been? Well, I have a new challenge at the work um, in this in this um, in my job I'm, I am new what I'm doing like a supervisor oh. so those days before and then tomorrow too I have a training I have to be a good leader so I have to study a lot and I have to do a lot of things at work so I can say that the the last week before uh, were really hard for me. <laughs> and I hope to see to finish uh, quickly because I want to put the, I don't know how to say, vacuna. I don't know. The vaccine. The vaccine of the COVID because oh, I have to okay. take my day off. And in my day off, I have the training. So I have to do a lot of things. I don't take a rest. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily you have the capacity. That's something good, right? That you're you managed to do it despite all. And uh, you're still young, right? To to cope with that. Okay, so that's that's not easy, but congrats because you're you're managing it. Thank you. And and today I had to present some homework or some some things that I have to present tomorrow. And I got a hundred percent of the training. And that training it is in English. Uh, ah. All the people there are works in my in focus, the call center. And my account is in Spanish. But uh from yes, yesterday, no, from the last Friday. My agents receive calls in English, and because uh, the Jamaica call centers uh, were damaged for the some raining, so we have to receive that call, and it's really difficult because 
the majority of the agents, they don't know how to, to speak a lot in English. And me too, I'm learning too. <laughs> and no, I am you, you speak well. <laughs> but you speak well. I mean, you have fluency, you, you have the pronunciation. So I guess that you can motivate them to take these courses, right? So they can start practicing yeah. more, learning more. Learning more. Yeah. But, but I have to work on a lot of things. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Um, success is not easy. And mm -hmm. one way or the other, we have to overcome ourselves, right? Um, with sacrifices, but it's not forever. It's temporary. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's temporary. in a couple of weeks or months, this will be a piece of cake for you. So it's it's adaptation, right? It's adaptation. I mm -hmm. guess, I guess, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you will see, you will see. Yeah, and yeah. I'm reading a book in English too for that training. And it's really difficult because there are a lot of words that I don't know how to say in Spanish. I have to to read in English, so I have to to look for the translator. And sometimes they don't sound <coughs> like a person or a speaker um, from U.S. can say or can mm -hmm. um, have to say the word correctly or the mm -hmm. pronunciation. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, got the point. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, if there's anything I can do to help you, you know that I'm here. Uh, do you have any specific questions or requests for me? Any doubts? Um, and no, just for the platform. I was with some a exercise that I didn't know uh, how, what the answer was that was in the first, I guess, that we were using bigger than and uh, more beautiful than. I don't have the screen right now, but I don't know if they fix it in the platform. Or if I get a good grade, it is enough to have a good grade in the platform. Yeah, having a good grade is enough, okay? But if you want to get 100%, obviously you have to practice more or to read more yeah. about the topic. And in the case of comparatives, uh, yeah, there are some rules that you need to learn. For example, that with the majority of short adjectives, what we do is to add the letters ER, for example, big, we say bigger, short, shorter, hot, hotter, fast, faster, uh, with some words that have the combination consonant, vowel, consonant at the end, we du duplicate the last consonant. For example, hot. When you say hotter, it's double T. When you say big, bigger is double, double G. Uh, and when the adjectives have two or more syllables, uh, we use more the adjective than, for example, more beautiful than. And you have to remember that for comparatives, we always talk about two things or two people. Uh, so I can say Beyonce is more beautiful than Shakira. Uh, my brother is faster than me. Uh, but my sister is more intelligent than my brother. And I can, I can continue with examples like that, right? So uh, those are the two basic rules that you have to memorize, okay? When to add ER and when to use the more plus the adjective. And we always use then as a, the relative clause or the relative word that we use to, to compare. So, for example, mm -hmm. Barcelona is more popular than Aguila. Okay, an example. <laughs> or, than <laughs> Alianza, or than Alianza, right? So, uh, and there are some irregular plurals. For example, good is the adjective. The comparative is better. Better. Than worse. 
little less. So there are some less. around four or five that are irregular uh, comparative or irregular adjectives. But the rest apply the same rule, okay? With some exceptions, but the majority follow the same rule. And that's the way that you made the comparisons. Okay. To look at videos on YouTube. They yeah, work. you can watch videos or you can do some practice online with, in some specific websites. Okay. Um, and that's it. It's a matter of getting familiarized with the, with the topic. Sometimes it's difficult because probably you didn't see the class or you didn't do the exercises in the moment. And then you try to complete the exercise in the platform, not in the manual. So it's, it's a little more difficult, not because you don't know, but because you didn't practice enough. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's the point. Okay. Yes, I'm going to start it more than <laughs> Okay, perfect. So thank you for staying, Suleyma. I hope to see you again tomorrow. And I hope that everything goes really well in your new experiences. Thank you, thank you. Wish you luck. <laughs> for you too. <laughs> okay, you. it was a pleasure. Have a good night. Thank you, you too. Have a good night. Sure. See you tomorrow. See ya.